Senator Patterson. Thank you, Madam Acting Deputy President. Uh, I rise to make some valedictory remarks about my friend, uh, my mentor and my colleague, uh, Senator Mitch Fifield. Uh, neither he or I could have known when, at age 19, as a precocious university student, I wandered into his office for my first day uh, of my first real job that one day we would be colleagues uh, here in this place. As Mitch talked about in his speech already tonight, my wife also uh, worked for him at a different time, although I stress not at, not at the same time, there was no inter-office romance. Uh, and given that you're in the camera shot, Mitch, please don't nod too vigorously when I say this, but I suspect she was a better staffer for you than I ever was. Um, in fact, I say that with confidence because it once in this place Mitch gave me what a HR consultant would call a 360-degree review of my performance at pace while walking down a corridor. In politics, uh, sometimes we ask our staff to do menial things, but one menial task that I performed for Mitch uh, had much wider significance. Uh, I delivered uh, his resignation letter to the then Leader of Opposition, Malcolm Turnbull, from the Liberal Party front bench in 2009. Um, I was later to issue the joint media release between himself, Senator Cormann and former Senator Brett Mason announcing that resignation uh, from the front bench. 2009 was a very significant year in Liberal Party history and personally a very formative year for me. Um, I think it's safe to say it shaped my views about politics and the Liberal Party and they have stayed with me ever since. Uh, Mitch, along with Senator Cormann and former Senator Mason were the first three members of the then Shadow Ministry to resign over a point of principle, which was uh, the opposition leader's plan to support Kevin Rudd's emissions trading scheme. Uh, when they did so, they had no idea how events would flow from there. Uh, it's easy to say with the benefit of hindsight and history and look back at that time and say, uh, that they were on the right side of history and that they made the right call because they were soon joined by many other colleagues who resigned from the front bench. Ultimately, the party's position on that issue changed and, indeed, the leader changed. Uh, but there was no guarantee that that was going to be the case at that time. And I think they showed remarkable courage and foresight as three young, ambitious, up-and-coming front benches who had only recently got their first stints on the front bench uh, to put all that at risk on a point of principle. At that time, they crossed the floor uh, and voted uh, against Kevin Rudd's emissions trading scheme time and time again on a very historic day in the Senate. And for that courage, I think the Liberal Party owes particularly those three senators a great uh, debt of gratitude. Uh, because history, I believe, would be very different if Mitch and Matthias and Senator Mason did not take the stand that they did uh, in that time. And it was an honour to work for Mitch while he did that and to observe uh, the courage uh, he showed under that immense pressure. Uh, it was another of his achievements, though, uh, that I appreciated on an even more personal level as a university student, because in my first year of university, the old system of compulsory student unionism uh, was still in place. And at the University of Melbourne, uh, in my first year, I paid a $450 compulsory fee to be a member of the student union against my choice, and it then took that money and spent it against my values. Uh, in subsequent years, after Mitch and others successfully legislated VSU, uh, the fee miraculously no longer being compulsory dropped to $100. Uh, it's amazing what the absence of compulsion and incentives that gives to an institution can do. Sadly, as Mitch has already noted in his contribution tonight, with the election of the Rudd government, uh, that policy of voluntary student unionism was abolished and compulsory unionism in a form was reintroduced uh, with a new fee to be capped at $250. And in my final year of university, I was forced to pay that capped $250 fee. Again, no surprise uh, that the union uh, sought to take as much as it could from students. Uh, it remains a matter of unresolved, unfinished business of this parliament uh, that I hope we return to, <coughs> and we return to those glory days that, that Mitch and others uh, helped achieve. Uh, Mitch is going on to greater things uh, at the UN, and uh, I want to set for him tonight a KPI that I have given to him privately. Um, he is, of course, going to be Australia's version of Nikki Haley at the UN, and so I expect to see from him a number of sassy, pro-Israel, 
uh, speeches at the UN quickly become viral uh, on social media and across cable news uh, in the United States and around the world. Um, I have great confidence that Australia's values will be ably and forthrightly represented by Senator Fifield over there in New York. Uh, Mitch, thank you for your support and friendship for me. Thank you for your service to our great home state of Victoria. Thank you for your service to our wonderful Liberal Party. Uh, you leave a great legacy of which you and your family can be very proud. And I feel very honoured to have had this brief time overlapping with you here in this place.